This is Jonathan Greenblatt, CEO of the Anti-Defamation League, or ADL. It is incredibly painful to watch these pictures coming from the Ukraine. I think it's impossible not to be moved by what's happening in what's clearly the worst refugee crisis in Europe and the largest military mobilization in more than 70 years since the Second World War. I mean, first and foremost, the humanitarian toll is extraordinary and it is profoundly upsetting to watch women and children and husbands and wives and grandparents, to see these pictures, the terrible catastrophe that's being wrought upon the country is just hard to fathom. So first and foremost, my heart breaks for these people. Number two, I'm actually really pained by this invasion and what uh, Putin has done. And in particular, his claim to want to denazify the country is really quite profane. I mean, Ukraine certainly has a history of anti-Semitism, but they have a Jewish president today and one of the most vibrant Jewish communities in Europe where people can worship freely without fear for their person, where they've really, I would say, reckoned with the legacy of anti-Jewish hate that persisted for so long in that country. Now, they're far from perfect, make no mistake. There is an issue with white supremacists in certain quarters of Ukrainian society. But as we see that in Russian society and all over Europe and really around the world. But in, in light of what's happened in the past, these kinds of statements are a final solution for the Ukraine or bombing Babi Yar. It's like literally bombing history. And it's just, I think, an ugly invocation that has no place and is totally off base with what's happening there now. And again, as Jews who have been driven through our home throughout the ages, who have been persecuted for who we are throughout the annals of history, watching the scenes of these people being persecuted, these people being forced to flee their homes, really is, is painful and evokes uh, many memories. So I have great empathy for the Ukrainian people. And I think about my own relatives in Israel who frequently have to run for bomb shelters in the face of barrages from Gaza, who face leaders who contrive comparisons and construct sort of ideas whole cloth to justify their persecution and the way they terrorize Israelis. So again, as, as a Jewish person, as a person with family in Israel, as a person with roots in Eastern Europe, I think the situation is really sad. And um, I'm hopeful that it will reach a swift conclusion, one that involves Ukraine maintaining its territorial integrity, one that allows Ukrainian people to rebuild and reclaim their dignity, and one that restores some sense of order in a place that clearly needs it now more than ever.